Hey everyone, it's Tyler from Zephyr Epic here, and welcome to our first look at the brand new 2023-24 Upper Deck Allure Hockey Hobby Box. Allure is an 8 card per pack, 8 pack per box product, where you're mainly chasing after the parallels. My favorite are the color flow ones. Uh, they're essentially, they go from like red, orange, all the way to blue, purple, and you kind of create a rainbow. They are really cool looking, really like the looks of those. In terms of what you get per box on average, you get 8 base set rookie cards, Eight black rainbow, red rainbow, and or orange slice base set parallels, including rookies. Eight color flow or color flow Stanley Cup cards. Uh, five bar down, golden goalies, ice breakaways, lumber masters, and or polished pros cards. Uh, and then two from kind of the uh, printing plate serial numbered cards and or ratioed short print cards. And then finally, at least one 16-bit autograph or doubloons card. Uh, out of those, you're mainly looking for the 16-bit. Those ones will be probably the most valuable ones, especially Bedard. They are pretty cool when they first came out in, is that 21, 22 alert? People were kind of not the biggest fans of them and kind of called them cheesy, but over time, people have learned to really like them, partially because they were extremely rare and a little bit more common now, but I just want to take a minute to admire our Norris Trophy champion in Quinn Hughes. Beautiful, beautiful. Love to see it. Uh, but yeah, anyways... Into the box, it looks really nice. Um, really not much more to be said. I, I'm i a sucker for the Canuck skate jersey in a promo material, so here we go. Good luck, and hopefully we get something nice. And well, that's not the right Chicago rookie on the back, but yeah, everything in Allure is very foiled out like last year. Uh, very sparkly, shiny, so if you like those types of cards, you'll probably like the set. But yeah, like I was saying, everything is pretty foiled out. Now that the cards are in focus, you can kind of see it a little bit more. Fairly like clean design, kind of modern-y. I don't know. It's very allure-y. So, yeah. And then there's the back of the cards. So they got a little blue on it. It kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, older SP Authentic. The back of the cards just foiled. Kind of the vibes it gives off. <laughs> but yeah, there's a Robertson, a Kucherov. Uh, Kuzmenko, Shesterkin, and then a Tory Krug, I believe. Is this a parallel? This might be a black rainbow parallel. Those are actually a little bit tougher to notice. But I'm going to guess that's a parallel given that it's on the back there. Yeah, so black rainbow alert does a really good job of like Upper Deck has done in a lot of their sets, just naming it. But a little bit harder to notice this here, so... Um, in previous years, it'd be like way more noticeable, but this year it's just a little subtle. I wish it was a, again, just that little bit more noticeable because it is a little bit hard to see. So there's the Krug, polished pros of Igor Sharangovic, uh, color flow. This is the orange yellow, which is the second most common, um, of Jeremy Swayman. Again, these cards, when you put together the full rainbow look really, really cool. Uh, I'm sure the Bedard ones will look sick. There's also two kinds of color flows which can be a little bit confusing there's these ones which are the base ones that kind of have like your standard like chrome rainbow-esque uh foiling to them and then there are the um more the rare ones which are the spectrum parallels and they start from like 2.99 for the red orange and go all the way down to i believe i think it's 50 or 25 yeah 25 on the uh, blue purple, except for the Stanley Cup. There's only 10 of those ones, but yeah. So the Spectrum ones, you'll notice they'll have um, like just the dots. I forget what parallel they are similar to, but like the red prism, I think from OPG Platinum, stuff like that. And then there's just a base rookie of Cole Gutman. Yeah, they're cool. Uh, again, I, I, I think it's gonna be Bedard or Bust on those ones uh, or the Stanley Cup ones. Stanley Cup ones might sell decently well. But yeah, I wish that they would not have like the two different parallels for it because it doesn't make a ton of sense to have that. Uh, just I get why some are rare, but like having some numbered and some non-numbered is a little bit confusing. Here's a Ridley Gregg on the black rainbow rookie again. I feel like this one's a little bit more pronounced. I don't know. I don't know. They, they kind of look the same, but it's just... It's subtle. I wish it was just a little bit, you know, a little bit different. Uh, Lumber Masters of Connor McDavid. Lumber Masters of McDavid. You get to see my entire setup in the reflection. Kuzmenko on the color flow. And a Matt Murray on the base rookie. So, 
pretty standard. You get like one, again, the one parallel, one insert, color flow, and a base rookie per pack. Um, I think parallel wise, it's fairly similar to last year. Here's a Seth Jones on the black rainbow polish pros of uh, Kuznetsov. That's kind of an ironic one, given that he is leaving the NHL. Uh, Gabe Velarde on the color flow, and Matthew Nice on the rookie. So that's one of our better rookies to get. Uh, yeah, uh, overall, I think the inserts so far are pretty, like, standard and basic. The Polish Pros actually have, like, a little bit of a subtle coloring to them before, like, the little bit of the rainbowish pattern in the background without having the rainbow effect on them. So, OV base... Got uh, Kirill Marchenko Orange Slice. So these are a little bit more pronounced. You can kind of see the pattern a little bit uh, better on this one. But yeah, still wish they were just a little bit more. I don't I think it's the white on the card that's throwing me off. Oh, well, Ice Breakaway of Connor Bedard. There's a little Connor Bedard. There's me in the background. <laughs> that's not bad. We'll take any Bedard that we can get. Always uh, probably pretty solid. Sleeve and top load that guy, but yeah, yeah. The dart from Allure is always nice. Again, that's really what you're opening this up for. Sorokin on the color flow, and then a Vinny Dayernay. Canuck. Vinny Dayernay. Kind of weird saying that, but hey. All right, well, we opened up a dart in our box. That's generally a win. One thing I will say is that the side of our box, the shrink wrap was a little bit peeled, so uh, I feel like that might be a common issue. Uh, do four on the black rainbow rookie ice breakaway of Dylan Gunther and a uh, blue purple. These so when Alert first came out and they first did these, the blue purples and the green blues were numbered. But these are going to be the toughest ones to hit from the base set. I believe that they are one in. I can just look it up here. One in. Oh, they're only one in twenty four packs. They're not as rare as what they used to be, but. I guess that's three boxes, and then mirror line in on the rookie. Uh, we still should have a numbered card, or a short print, or a doubloons. I think this will be like our short print um, coming up. There's a Crosby base, Barkov on the uh, rainbow, and oh, rookie blue line rookie jersey auto of Devin Levi. That's actually pretty sick for the Sabers. Um, pretty good little pull there to 75 on that one. A nice McDavid color flow and a Coronado on the rookie. Yeah, nice, uh, nice Devin Levi there. One of the better goalies to get. And I, again, I love the foiling on it. I just, the, in previous years, like the whole card would pretty much be foiled. So a little bit of like the white not getting the foil treatment is definitely messing me up a little bit, but it still does look pretty clean. I just wish it had like a little bit more of that at the bottom. Yeah, overall looks pretty cool. Uh, hey, Jersey autograph to 75 of one of the top goalie prospects. Can't really go too wrong with that, so I'm not upset by that. We got one Bedard, we got a numbered Jersey Auto, which again, a lot of time your autos, and again, pretty much I think all of the autographs are sticker autos in this set, but um, I I just think that this is going to be like a generally solid pull. You'll be happy to see a Jersey Auto, because uh, a lot of the autos you'll get will be like kind of veteran uh, players who might not be the best, or kind of the lower end rookies. So here we go. Next pack. Well, we got a Nestorenko rookie on the back. So that is our autograph. We should technically have one more numbered card, right? So also one of the big hunts is the, um, the gold treasure one of one similar to kind of, uh, OPG platinum. So Marco Casper on the orange slice. So here's a color flow spectrum. You can tell it's kind of got that like pulser. If you're familiar with, uh, Panini and I think Tops maybe uses that. I don't know, but it's kind of that like pulsar type finish to it. They call them Spectrum. Um, number to ninety nine on that. Sveshnikov on the orange yellow color flow and a Nestorenko rookie. Yeah, pretty standard looking kind of Spectrum color flow. They look really really cool. Uh, I again when you get the whole set together, they will definitely look a lot better. Uh, I will try and show a picture on screen of like, because what colors are we missing? We're missing like if we had a blue green, I could kind of like piece it together, but <laughs> maybe the last pack will have a blue green. So Ooh, who's it? Rucker Evans. Okay. But yeah. All right. Final pack here. Should we maybe have another short print card or another numbered? Par or I guess that's other numbered parallel. Uh, Jamie Drysdale. 
Uh, iced breakaway. This is an orange parallel because it's got that orange cracked ice of Shane Wright, number to 399. A Wyatt Johnson on the color flow and a Riker Evans on the rookie for the um, Seattle Kraken. So overall, I think we got, yes, two numbered cards and then the obviously the jersey hit, which is luckily numbered, the jersey autograph. Um, to 399 though, that's pretty, pretty like okay. I don't know. Uh, design wise, I kind of like the base set. Um, the parallels are nice. They're just not as pronounced as previous years. I would wish that they were like, and like these ones are fine. Like the, anytime you have the red rainbow or something like that, where it's like very, very obvious that there's, there's a parallel. It's a uh, kind of the black rainbow ones that I think need a little bit more love in an upcoming year. Uh, just as like something that they could work on and improve because they are very subtly different. Obviously, like it's noticeable, but it's not noticeable enough for me, personally speaking. Um, yeah, outside of that, yeah, the inserts are kind of like they are what they are. I'm not the biggest fan of the insert sets, but hey, it's nice getting a Bedard. Um, the color flows are also nice. I like the previous years better, but... Um, they're still kind of nice. Uh, we got a good selection of them. So I'll try and get again the one like map on screen of them all and show you what it looks like put together. But yeah, uh, in terms of good hits, we got the ice breakaway to 399 of Shane Wright. I do like the cracked ice in the background. Again, I really wish Upper Deck would start using this cracked ice foiling more often because it is hockey. This is a one like sport that should have cracked ice parallels. <laughs> And then uh, we got the uh, Brian Rust 299 on the yellow green spectrum, which is again, it's a card out of 99, not the worst pull, just not the best name. Uh, the ice breakaway of Bedard, which again, it's a Connor Bedard. You're always going to be a little bit happy pulling that, but definitely the hit of the box is the Devin Levi rookie jersey auto 275 uh, on the blue line auto jersey is, is specifically what it's called. So yeah, overall, I'd say pretty good box. We got a Bedard, we got a good jersey card. And that is a first look at Upper Deck Alert. Let me know what your thoughts on it in the comment section below. Uh, if you're interested in joining a break or picking up a box, I'll leave links to that. And uh, final like question of the day is, do you like Allure or OPG Platinum better? Because I think it's starting to see some people prefer Allure more than OPG Platinum. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. All right, take care and I will see you in the next video.